that up. Good morning everybody. Today is a big day. We are doing our 12 hour trip, driving to see my mom for Thanksgiving. Uh, the puppies are gonna be going to little dog camp, Camp Rough. I got my sleep in, I slept, it's like 1 o'clock or something like 1.30, 1 1.45. Just woke up, I gotta get ready, gotta get this crazy stuff done before we leave. It's gonna be fun, so stay tuned. We gotta go take care of these pups. I gotta drink me a cup of coffee. It's time to go to camp. Get in the car, it's time to go to camp. All right, y'all. My puppies. Sunday and Peach are going to camp. They're gonna go to a little puppy camp. It's gonna be super fun. They're gonna meet lots of friends. I'm so sad. They're gonna have so much fun. We got them two blankets that have Kayla's um, perfume sprayed on them. Excuse me, Peach. Peach. Hey. Peach. Y'all ready to go? Say bye, Sunday. It's gonna be so fun. Sunday. You ready to go to camp? You wanna go bye bye? Go to camp? <laughs> Peach, you wanna go too? Go to camp. Go into camp. Go into camp. All right, guys. So we got the car all packed up. The Mustang is packed to the brim. Then we're gonna hit the road. Never driven through the night before, but it's gonna be super fun. If I get two tires, I'll just pull over. It's gonna be fun. But we're in the car. We are driving overnight. We're ready to go. Here we go. Bye. What is up my beautiful people? So yesterday we got in at what time did we get in there? 6 a.m. We got in at 6 a.m. So we pulled the all-nighter. Couldn't vlog too much because it was super dark. Slept for like how many hours, babe? Five. About five hours. Anyways, we're gonna finish getting ready, have a cup of coffee, go see the fam, see how they're doing. Pretend I'm not nervous for the whole thing. Ready? Go. So we're cooking away. Almost got all of our. Well, I say we. Mom's been doing all this. It's my mom, y'all. Whipping up this nice dinner. Walk, baking a baby. <laughs> my mom 
mom for Thanksgiving and it was the first time she's seen me since my transition. My mom's still working on supporting my transition and my identity as a man, so naturally I was nervous, anxious, and a little worried about how it would all go down. Here are the three things I learned from my trip. First, I learned neutral nicknames help wonders. I was born Melanie Deborah Lynn Caperner, so finding a nickname we were both okay with was a little hard. We decided to meet in the middle with a childhood nickname of Melbug and remove the Mel to make it just Bug. It was a nice compromise and it made a lot of otherwise intolerable moments bearable. Second, I learned about compromise. If you let ego take the driver's seat, it will allow no crevice for understanding. For parents, they feel like they're losing a kid and gaining another they didn't necessarily plan for. And for us, we're just trying to keep our feelings from being hurt and maintain emotional fortitude. So finding a way to compromise and consider each other's feelings is a must. I'm blessed to be able to work towards a better relationship with my mom and that she's even willing to work with me and incredibly thankful for her, Jason, and my siblings. And last, I learned there's no place like home. Reaching out to repair relationships can be hard and it takes an extreme amount of sacrifice and mental strength on both sides. But no matter the result, no matter the outcome, I'm thankful I can come home to my family here in Tennessee too. Makes you appreciate all the little things. Visiting the family during the holidays can be incredibly stressful as a transgender person. However, I found it to be a wonderful experience by choosing a gender neutral nickname, compromising to avoid pronouns, and keeping it all in perspective.